Do y'all love the three card spread as much as I do? One of the things I love most about this spread is that it can be used and read in so many different ways. So in this video, we're gonna cover seven different ways that you can use the three card tarot spread in a tarot reading specifically about money. Whether you need more income, want to save money, clear out your debt, retire early, or make wise choices about your investments, your tarot cards have got you covered. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor and neither are your tarot cards. The cards help you make better decisions by helping you to see and investigate all of your options with clarity. My name is Angie Green, the creator of The Simple Tarot, and I am excited to share this video with you today because I have worked so hard on healing my own financial beliefs and habits with the help of my tarot cards, and I really can't wait to share that with you. But first, if you wanna take this seriously, Download this PDF printable from the Simple Tarot. This tarot journaling page not only has space to record your three card spread readings, but it also gives you eight different ways to interpret the cards for readings that, about anything, money, love, or all sorts of situations. So click on this URL right now to get your copy, pause the video, download and print it out. And of course, I'll put the link down in the description to make it easier for you too. All right, let's get started. All right, interpretation number one goes from left to right. Card one is the context of a situation. Card two is where you should focus your attention and resources. And card three is your likely outcome. This is a great spread for when you are trying to decide where to focus your money and your energy. The second interpretation reads card one as where you are now. Card two is what you really want. And card three shows you how to get there. This is another great spread for when you're unsure of where you should focus your energy. Plus, it gives you an action step to move forward. Interpretation number three reads card one as what you want. Card two is what is standing in your way. And card three gives you an action step on how to overcome these obstacles. This is a great interpretation for when you know what you want and you know the like conventional way of getting there, but those conventional ways are not helping you keep coming up against obstacles. What work for others may not work for you. So this interpretation helps you come up with some creative solutions to get around it and get what you want. Interpretation number four reads like this. Card one is what you can change about your situation. Card two is what you can't change. And card three is what you might not be aware of. This is a great spread for when you're feeling like you, you need to control every single little thing. There is so much in your life that's outside of your control and focusing on what you can't control does not help move you forward. For our fifth interpretation, card one is the thing you should start doing, card, one, card two is what you need to stop, and card three is the thing you should continue. So I love this spread because it is so actionable. Do this, don't do that, keep up the good work. So simple, yet so effective. Interpretation number six reads cards one as the nature of your problem. Card two is the cause of your problem, and card three is the solution. This is a great interpretation for when you know you have a problem, but you don't know what it is, where it comes from, or how to move forward. For our final interpretation, card one is what you think about a situation, card two is what you feel about it, and card three is what you need to do about it. This is a great spread for when you're working on your beliefs, your mindset, and your habits around money. So remember, the tarot cards can't give you financial advice or make the decisions for you. They can only help you see information from a new perspective and give you clarity and some creative ideas. You are still in control of your mindset about money. You are in control about your beliefs and only you can be the one who makes those wise or not so wise decisions and choices to support your goals and dreams. If this video was helpful or cleared up any confusion for you, hit that like button right now and let me know. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you want more tarot videos, including a tarot card video about love. And of course, if you're still confused or if you have more questions, leave a comment down below and I'll sort you all out. Until next time.